You know, a lot of people are introduced to SIPs in the timber frame market. Uh, they're out talking to timber framers, maybe going to shows, uh, lake home and cabin shows or log and timber shows, and they see SIPs being very prevalently uh, shown uh, at those shows because it's such a great way to wrap a timber frame. So what a timber frame is, is, is just what it sounds like. It's big timbers that are, are framed up as the skeleton of the house. And then the easiest way to wrap that frame is with intercept sips. And you come in with these ready to assemble uh, panels that just attach to the sips and wrap it. And it both insulates it and it sturdies up that frame. But the frame carries the load. So those panels, we don't talk as much about seeing headers and things of that nature. So a lot of folks wonder, does that mean you always need to have a frame in order to build the sips? No, the answer is no. Typically speaking, while it's a great way to cover a timber frame, most of the time, SIP structures are built with no skeleton, no framework at all. They are structural, structural. they are the structure and the framework. It's all, it's all designed in and engineered in. And so what we'll see in the residential market is you might see a full timber frame. You might see a hybrid where the great room is a timber frame, but then the, the room's going off from the great room are freestanding SIPs, or about probably 80% of what we do at Intercept is just freestanding houses or residential uh, uh, with no other type of frame at all. So it's not necessary uh, that we can, we can handle the spans and the big openings because of the strength of these panels. 